So CHDR started in 1987. It was an idea of Dawa Breimer, professor at pharmacology at Leiden University, who wanted an environment to do really top-level drug research. And that was a totally different starting point from what all the other CROs did in the world who started as enterprises, generally from pharmaceutical companies. So we're probably one of the you know, operations that started from a university. We always kept true to that. We do the really new drugs. Really new drugs are prototypes. No one's ever tested these before. It's not all the work we do, but a large part of the work we do are prototypes. It's of these prototype drugs, new mechanisms, very high risk drugs, in a way, because we don't know much about them, we test those in early phases, phase one, but also in patients, because sometimes you need the patient who eventually requires the drug to also see if it works. We get the drug through this moment of truth, giving it to humans for the first time or the second time, or at least very early in its life, by a very strong biomarker program, which we try to design before we give it to the persons, um, to get as much information from the drug as possible. So we, we deal with a very large industry that consists of large companies, very large companies uh, and, and really very small ones. The innovation is now about 50-50 divided over the very large companies and the very small companies and there are many more of those of course. The innovation is also going more rapid. So I think this whole field, even for a big company, but also certainly for the large number of small companies, requires um, a very dense approach with more knowledge being invested early in the development. Because there are lots of ideas and you want to get rid of the bad ones and advance as fast as possible with the good ones. Yeah, we, we designed this building really with the strategy of CHR in mind. And there are two things that happen in this building. One, we, we think that the people who are involved in, in the trials, the subjects, need the best facilities in the world. People who subject themselves to new drugs, subject themselves to risk, sometimes un slightly uncomfortable procedures, they need an environment that's better than, than a hospital. So we think we, ha we do have the best facilities for subjects in the world. So that's the one side. The other side of the building is, of course, the people who do the work for the trials. And we also think they need very good facilities. But what we do requires people meeting. It does not mean people sitting at their desk. It is people actually meeting to talk about the work, to develop new things, to be creative. So this building in its essence is really a meeting place. It's a place where patients meet drugs, and it's a place where scientists meet. It's a place where companies and our scientists meet. And you'll see all through it, if you walk through it, this going on. You see continuous people interacting, and we also want it to be seen from the outside. So it'd be preposterous to say that we can do this all alone, even in this bigger building. So you need, for each drug, you need a cluster of knowledge that's wider than CHGR. So we put CHGR in the Leiden Bioscience Park, which is one of Europe's biggest collections of general knowledge in, in drug research. So the CHGR staff has professorial appointments in several parts of Leiden University. Our clinicians have clinical appointments in the hospital. So we work with these institutions on a daily basis. We, do, we just don't put them in our brochure. We actually go there, we teach to the students, and then we think that those attachments also make it possible to set up these collaborations for our clients. So our, our collaborations with, with the, the academic institutions are very good. We, we're really part of those institutions and, um, and it goes both ways. We deliver knowledge about drug development to, for instance, Leiden University Medical Center, but also Leiden University Medical Center delivers to us its expertise in virtually all clinical areas. And that expertise, that joint expertise, is what you need to develop the drugs of our clients. So, so the development of drugs is, is 
in the end, science. And what universities do is science. So the people in CSGR are involved in both. And we, we show that. We show that we do very good work for our clients. We also do very, with that, we do very good work for our staff who get PhD theses, who get trained. They can also go back and work for the companies. And that's the, the shared value of CSGR. I personally believe in that because no, I've never seen a drug research project go without people who are intelligent and good and committed and also wanting to learn themselves. So our senior staff has um, together about more than a century of experience in drug research, both in industry, both in uh, academia. I, I sometimes wonder why we never advertise for people. People just come in CSU, they just appear. It's true for our senior staff, it's true for the junior staff. And, and I think it is because here you you end up in the CHGR family. And it's an interesting family because not very many people leave. And when they leave, they come back. And the family is involved in a very important thing that's developing drugs for patients. But at the same time, all the members of the family are being developed. They can develop themselves. They get PhD thesis. They are able to leave better than they come into the organization. And I think that's the reason we always attract people so easily. Any project that reaches CSUR, be it from a large company, from a small company, from a university, is the result of an incredible effort by other people to get it to the point where a drug or any other thing we test is given to, to people. So we have this huge responsibility to this. This has to succeed if it is at all possible. But at the same time, we have a huge responsibility to the people who receive this, so it's been done safely and well. And that, is, I think, is what CHER is doing. We can do it on the basis of a huge network around us, which we employ to help getting this right. And in the end, the, the, the satisfaction you get from doing this is because you're always involved in something that potentially is going to change the life of people, the patients who get the drug.